Hello, here in this tutorial I will show you how to create bands. Here the bands are these spaces where the color is more intense. In the case of this other area, represent this green, uh, light green area and this dark one over here. On the other side, this last part from 9 to 10 represents another band and here in the karyotype 4 we have two bands so here I will show you how to create these bands and also how to create these ticks that appear from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and each 5 units uh, have a bigger uh, tick to indicate this separation So first, when talking about bands, uh, from the previous tutorial that we specified these uh, sections of our karyotypes, we add these kind of lines. It, you have to remember that for bands you have to complete all the length of the karyotype for make it useful or useful. Uh, for example, here the karyotype 1 it starts from 0 and gets to 1. So a band here will cover the range from 0 to 1. The format is start with band, the word band, then is going to be the name of the karyotype, variable name, in this case is for bar 1, then the name of the variable for the band. In this case, the band is going to be called bar 1, band 0. And this other part here is supposed to represent the label, but it actually doesn't work. So, actually, this uh, put anything here. In the next two, represent the start and the end of the band. And finally, the color. We will analyze the, this other part over here from the uh, karyotype 2 that has a length of 25 units. Here, everything has in common are the first uh, two words. Later, we specify a different variable name for each band. And then you see that it goes from 0 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 20, 20 to 22, and 22 to 25. It's required, remember that we must cover all the length, the complete length with bands. As I'm interested only in showing two bands in all these karyotype, I am specifying them here as green and the other as black. Everything that I don't care, uh, I'm setting it to a color of white. So basically my main or my focus here is going to be here in band 1 and in band 3. So that's why I have specified them with a color different from white. In addition, here you can see that, that for band 3, uh, from 0 to 10, that for me represent, represent a non-care. And from 9 to 10, what I care is going to be paint black. In the case for the fourth karyotype, in addition, orange is going to represent what I care in this part. And everything else is white. In the configuration file, over here, uh, we have a lot of options. First, that uh, when this part of bands have to be specified and here uh, you show bands you have to set to yes fill bands to show the color of the bands and the band transparency to overlap the color that is behind in the the, the color of the karyotypes so that's basically the part of bands and the part of ticks that is 
is here below I will specify what is what is this and just we're going to change a bit of here to uh, modify our graphic so for example we will focus on the band uh, or the keratoid tree where we have only two bands or actually only one so I'm going to separate this instead from uh, 0 to 9 I'm going to 4 to 2 If I specify your name here, then from 2 to 3, let's say green, another time white, so give us a 3 to, three to 8, 3 to 9, we are going to add only one, and we have to keep this variable separated. So uh, that's it. Let's go to see what happens now. Another one more time to look at, at this. Remember that in the keratite tree we only have one band. So circles. Oh. And you can see that over here in the left appear it appeared our new bands over here, color green. And to so you can notice it better. Let's change it to orange. So this is the the one we added. Red. So now you can see that here it is red. Over here. Now let's now let's try to see, or in this part of the tutorial, we're going to see how to create the, those ticks or how they are managed. So you have to see that below or out of hydrogram, I have specified these two lines. Show ticks, yes, and show tick labels as yes. Show ticks are going to be those sticks that go out of the graphic and the labels are going to be those numbers that represent each division. So these first two lines represent that if we are going to show or not the first and end ticks of each karyotype. This is going to be the radius that is for the, we will leave it for default. Uh, the multiplier here is going to be the number that appear at the label of each tick. So we will modify this later, but if we uh, set to one, each tick is going to represent an, in, an, in, an increase of one, one unit. If I say to two, each tick will show a multiple of two. This is the color. How uh, tick are going to be the, the ticks. And the size that is going to have each one of the uh, ticks uh, here. This is for, in this case of the spacing, we can uh, define uh, like different ticks or each kind of spacing. Um, here is that one unit that it means that each one unit they're going, there is going to be one tick. Uh, then uh, show label that we want to see the numbers of each unit, the, the size of the label, how tick 
they are going to be and the color so far this part means that each one unit of our character type is going to be seen or there's going to be a line outwards the character type showing one unit uh, over here we specify another rule for the ticks that it means that each five units there is going to be seen again but is going to be bigger uh, a bigger label and also is going to be thicker and the color of these are going to be red you have seen it, you have seen it already but let's see again what i mean by this let's examine the part over here our character one or the or the two you can see that it starts at zero so this is a star tick then you can see that up to five there appears a different color and size also in 10 and you should probably have every multiple of five and you can see that here the numbers are increasing from zero one two three four five so let's change that a bit for example here in multiplier let's say that is going to be uh, three we save it and run it you can see that now instead of increasing an increase of one by one we increase three by three zero three six nine twelve fifteen so you have seen that each five units we change it to red but the numbers increase by three each time one more modification let's add a tick that appears each 10 units and it's going to be bigger then five four reds and to be blue so you can see that uh, we have an increase of each five units and that since this only represents five you can see that as uh, 10 units we have a, a bigger uh, label for the tick and it's in blue and actually you can see that over in the part from the bottom it appears 60 in blue that's it for this part of the tutorial